Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Animotion. Today, we're gonna do some glitch overlay and it's really easy to do. So I already have my scene here. I have text animated and I have wave animated as well. So let's get to it. First thing you wanna do is to create a solid. So right click, new, solid. Name that fractal noise because that's the effect that we're gonna use. And yeah, go under effects and preset and look for fractal noise. Drop that onto your layer. And then the most important thing that you have to do on this fractal noise effect is to change the noise type to block because we want to achieve that blocky, rectangular, glitchy look. And then fractal type, usually you can just leave it as basic or I'll just go with dynamic progressive. And then bump up the contrast so that um, it's very contrasted. So we want to achieve like black and white look and then under transform i'm gonna untick this uniform scaling so what it basically do it just kind of like separate the width and height of the scale because i want to scale up the width so that it's more like rectangular instead of squares so usually i like to do like this stretchy look um but you know you can also adjust the scale height you know you make it even like squished whatever you want and then under evolution options we want to create an expression on random seed so we're gonna animate the fractal noise so hold alt and click on that stopwatch and then we're gonna use time expression which is time times we're gonna do 10 and see how it looks yep it looks pretty glitchy to me that looks fine you can you know you can bump it up to hundred if you want your glitch to like go crazy like that but i'll just stay with 10. all right now we want to pre-compose this fractal noise so just right click pre-compose and i'll call it pre -com fractal noise and make sure you choose the move all attributes hit ok turn the layer off and then we're going to create an adjustment layer so a new adjustment layer and this time it's going to be the glitch now, under effects and presets, look for displacement map. Drop that onto your glitch and then change the displacement map layer to your fractal noise. Now you can already see that it's glitching, which is quite nice. It's not too much of an effect, but you can always adjust the, you know, like the horizontal glitch and the vertical glitch. I don't usually do vertical that much. I usually just do horizontal. So let's see how it looks. Now, I don't want the glitch to go like all the way for the whole my composition. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do like um, two frames, page down two times, and then cut the glitch layer by holding Alt and close square bracket. And then I'm gonna duplicate that and then move it somewhere. Duplicate that again and move it somewhere. Alright, so basically what that does, it just kind of like give you a glitch effect here and there, so not your entire scene. I'm just going to adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement for each of these so that it kind of like give slightly different effect. Alright, there you go, you have your glitch overlay. Thanks guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just Leave it in the comment below and if you have any suggestion on what you want me to do next, leave it in the comment below as well. Um, next time I might actually make a tutorial on how to do this animated wave. Alright, thanks guys!